All right, in the final step of the process, we're ready for the faceplate installation. Now here's a little trick. This one's free. Opening these little packages. A lot of times people will use their teeth, they'll rip it, the screws go flying. Here's a little secret. Use the sharp edge of the plate inside the package. Use it to rip open the package. Comes open nice and easy. I can dump the screws out into my hand. Remove the plate from the packaging. All right, so like I said before, you're wanting to place your switches in here that they're straight, centered in the oblong holes on the mounting tabs. And that way when you go to test fit your plate, well, it fits right off the bat, no adjustments necessary. If you were just a little bit off, it's quite easy to just move the switch one way or another just so that it fits on without having to force the plate. So plate's on, should stay there, and you insert your faceplate screws. Now this happens to be an acrylic plastic plate, so they will break if you over tighten. So don't over tighten the screws. I like to line them up, straight up and down, or you can line them horizontally, it's all preference, but do line them. Looks a whole lot nicer when you're done. Shows a little bit of pride and craftsmanship. Line those up vertically. Install the other two. Another uh, little tip here is make sure you got nice clean hands when you're putting on all the face plates in your project because dirty grubby little fingers will make nice little fingerprints and smudges all over the wall around your plates and then the painter gets mad at you or the homeowner or your wife all right so there you have it they're all lined up look at the difference it makes if you don't take the time to to line them all up that just shows that you just were a little too much in too much of a hurry to take the time to line things up so do line up all your screws make sure you don't over tighten and Project complete.